Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and I work at the Winfield Public Library and I'm here to read a story to you guys today. It's called Dewey, There's a Cat in the Library. But before I get started, I need to introduce you to my very special guest. This is my girl Stella. Yes. Oh, are you sassy? She's a sassy girl. Her name is Stella. She is going to be one year old this month, so it's her birthday. Everybody say, happy birthday, Stella. She's not happy. <laughs> Girl. <Woo. laughs> well, she'll be hanging out while I read this story to you guys. She's a little sassy right now. <laughs> okay, Dewey, there's a cat in the library. Now I'll read um, the story and I'll show you guys the pictures after I get done reading the page. This book is written by Vicki Myron and Brett Witter. It's illustrated by Stephen J Steve James. A little something about this book. I've actually read this book a uh, long time ago when I was a little girl and I love this book so much. It's honestly still one of my favorites today. So let's get started. Here, this is Dewey, right? This is the kitty we're reading about today. Every night, people left the books in the return box of the library in the small town of Spencer, Iowa. Funny books, big books, truck books, and pig books, they left them all. But one night, on the coldest night of the year, someone left a strange surprise, a tiny kitten. There he is. He's in the book drop. <laughs> when Vicky, the librarian, found him the next morning, the kitten was cold and scared and very, very dirty. Vicky took one look and decided to give him a warm bath. The kitten went into the sink brown and crying, but he came out orange and purring. I'm going to keep you, said Vicky, who already loved him. We'll name you Dewey Read More Books. You can live here and be our library cat. Here he is getting a bath. <laughs> he looks so happy. I can tell you that cats generally do not like to take a bath. We just had to give Miss Stella a bath recently and she was not a fan, let me tell you. <laughs> but Dewey had no idea what it meant to be a library cat, so he did what all kittens do. He played. He lounged on the newspaper, rode the book cart, and knocked pins to the floor. He goofed around with Marty Mouse, his little toy, snooped in every open drawer, and always found at least one rubber band. Here he is. See, there he is on the newspapers, riding that book cart, <laughs> knocking all the pins over. Rubber band. See, Stella likes to get into a lot of trouble herself, don't you, Miss Stella? Here she is. She likes to get in a lot of trouble, too. Mm-hmm. Every single night, she has a little cat party. Don't you? <laughs> You're so good. She's purring. <laughs> but what Dewey loved most of all was people. Tall ones, round ones, quiet ones, loud ones. The little ones, however, surprised him. And not always in a good way. Look, Nathan, said his mommy, there's a cat in the library. Nathan bent down and said, hi, hooey dewey yooks. No, said his sister Hannah, it's Dewey Read More Books. Dewey squirmed. The boy was petting him in the wrong direction. Dewey loved to be petted, but he hated being petted in the wrong direction. See, his fur is all ruffled up. You always gotta pet a cat down, like that. Poor Dewey. Dewey was licking his fur back into place when he heard a strange noise. Wah! Dewey's ears perked up. He looked around. 
Wah! Wah! <laughs> Dewey sprang into action and crept really slowly towards the sound. Surprise! The little people, Dewey discovered, came in tiny sizes too. And they loved to giggle and grab and pull and coo. See, there's a little baby. Dewey was playing with the baby. Babies are wonderful, Dewey thought. Cute and smellicious too. A few days later, Dewey went exploring and discovered us in a secret room the most exciting thing he had ever seen. Children's Story Hour. Wowzy whiskers, this looks fun, Dewey thought as he pushed into the room with his nose. Someone shouted, there's a cat in the library! Dewey froze. <laughs> it was quiet for one minute and then everything went wild. <laughs> and the next thing Dewey knew, he was being carried upside down. Oh my, Dewey thought. What should I do now? My cat Stella likes to be carried upside down, believe it or not. See? <laughs> Late that night, Dewey talked to his friend Marty Mouse. Here's Marty Mouse. It's his little mouse toy. He said, the library is a wonderful place, but I'm tired of being pulled and poked and carried upside down. I'm just not a cat in a library. I'm a library cat. A library cat helps people, I think, and I'm 92% convinced that's the reason I'm around. Marty Mouse didn't say anything. I'm going to do it, Dewey said. I'm going to help people. And he felt so happy that he threw Marty Mouse into the air, kicked him with his back legs, and then slept on him like a pillow. The next morning when the first people arrived, Dewey was waiting to greet them right by the front door. All morning, Dewey acted like a library cat. <laughs> he read with the mommies and the grandmas and helped the daddies work and even shelved books with the library clerk. When he saw little Nathan, he turned a circle and a half so the boy could pet his back from head down to his tail. The right direction to pet a cat. I'm glad we're friends, do wooly, Nathan said. <laughs> Dewey smiled at that. By lunchtime, Dewey was worn out, so he found a good box. First, he put his front paws inside, then his belly. He squished his back end down, wiggled around, until he was all the way in, and he closed his eyes. <laughs> There's an orange muffin in the library, a girl giggled. <laughs> stuffed himself in that little box, didn't he? But just as Dewey was about to drift off into sweet kitten dreams, he heard a heavy sigh. His eyes popped open, and he saw a girl on the other side of the library, a sad little girl reading very quietly all by herself. He climbed up close and stared at her. She looked the other way. He sniffed her hand. She wouldn't play. He knocked her mittens to the floor, and she let them stay. Here she is. Then he saw her jacket and had his very best idea yet. Silly always works. I'll be a silly cat today. The girl stared at Dewey. You look like a fuzzy hot dog in a purple bun, she said. And then she surprised him. There he is, all, all snuggled up. She laughed right out loud. 
I love you, Dewey read more books, the girl whispered, as Dewey nestled into her lap and began to purr. This is it, Dewey thought. I'm a real library cat, and it feels great. No, it felt better than great. It felt perfect. And that is the end of our story. I hope you really enjoyed our story today. Now for the trivia question. Okay. The trivia question for this story is, where did the librarian find Dewey the cat? Let's see if Stella wants to play. Come here. No, she doesn't. Let's go find her. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. That's so sweet. She's a sweet girl. This is my special guest for the day. Hi. Are you gonna look? Ooh. What do you think? Yeah? You can tell them all about it? Mm-hmm. Yeah? I love you too. You're silly. Here. Oh. Let me show you guys. Okay. I told you guys she likes to be held upside down, so let me show you. Oh. <laughs> Here she is. Oh. Got me in the face. What do you think? <laughs> You're good. Put her down. Good girl. Good Stella. Good girl, Stella. Good girl. <laughs>